Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are moving on to tutorial number 10 for the Alice's Tea Party scrapbook album. And today we are going to be covering the back of the fifth page, the sixth page, both front and back, as well as the inside back cover. And then our next tutorial will be doing all of the the covers and some of the inserts and and whatnot. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to start on this and this. So I am going to pull out a couple of coordinating papers. I'm going to use that, that there, this here. And then I think I'm going to use just some plain matching coordinating cardstock and a cream for these two. I'm just going to use this here. So let's get some cuts done. So I'm just going to start with my coordinating cardstock and I am going to cut that to 8 inches by 3 and 7 eighths and I need two of those. That's my coordinating card stock for the inside of here. That doesn't need to be cut. And then this is going to be for on there. So I'm going to cut some of the blue off. my pieces for there. So I'm going to put this, this is going to go on here. So I need to cut this to six and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So five and a quarter inches this way. And six and three quarter inches this way. And then we also used the scallop corner chomper. There's that. And then I'm going to do the rest of these in my coordinating cardstock because I want areas where you can put you know pictures and journaling and that kind of thing so I'm gonna need another piece that's five and a quarter by six and three quarters so five and a quarter perfect and six and three quarters and again we need to punch the corners And then these are seven by seven, so we need two pieces of the cream colored cardstock cut to six and three quarters by six and three quarters. That's all of our pages or paper cut for these. We need to add some magnets and 
We also need to figure out how we're going to close this. I guess we could just put magnets on these to hold them. Let's just do that. It's simple and easy. So we're going to need some magnets. I'm going to put I'm going to put magnets here and then I'm also going to put a magnet set here and then we're going to need two sets for here. So I need eight magnets in total and I'm just going to go ahead and start putting them down. go nicely in here and these just go like that so let's go ahead and get everything glued down now So, moving on to this, we're going to need magnets here, for sure, um, and then let's pick out some paper. should be one should be enough so we just have these pages left and so I think I'm gonna cut this one down to put on here That'll be, that'll be that. So we have that, and then this. one of these and frame it with let's do that um, actually no we're gonna attach one of these directly onto this and make it part of the closure work out nicely. Oh, 
trying to use this. I like that the best, most. Okay. So, these are four by five and a half. So, three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So, we'll need to cut one of these to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the cream colored ones. So let's go ahead and do those. five and a quarter. Okay, so we are also going to back this with the same black cardstock, so let's grab some of that. So those journaling cards, or ephemera cards, are four inches by three inches. So we need three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this will go like this, and this can go in here, like that, and then down. Okay, so now we'll need a strip that goes across here. And I think I might just use this one. Because it is about the right size and it should go with this. And it will go with this. So I'm going to cut this. And again, this is going to be 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Or three, but three and seven eighths by eight. So three and seven eighths and eight. And then this will be three and seven eighths as well. And this I'm just gonna throw. So those will go on there like that. And then this is gonna go on the inside. So we need these cut to three and seven eighths as well. going to go like this and then we have these
actually. Might just leave it like that and use some of these to decorate this. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that is all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything down. We need a piece for here. So we know it's one and a half, and we are going to cut it to about four and five eighths. All right, so that's it for tutorial number 10. Next is going to be the final tutorial, which will cover the decoration of some of the pages, the inserts for the pocket pages, as well as the front, back, and spine. So stay tuned. <laughs>